Welcome to Kix Gaming, I'm Papa Kix, and this is a tier list of the skill perks for Hunt Royale's dungeon mode. This video will provide you with a recommended list of skill perks as you level up in dungeons, but it will also give the logic behind those decisions, allowing you to figure out when you should deviate from the list and how to make your own decisions as needed. To begin, we first need to understand how leveling works and its effect on your hunter stats. It's very important to our tier list. HP and damage increase by 10% per level. Here's the math if you're curious. What's important to note is that the 10% increase includes the damage and HP from skills. This means that getting damage early on is very important. Let's take a look at some examples. If you take Demon Pact at level 20, it is worth 15 damage to your total stats. There's no more leveling and no more 10% gain per level. But if you took it at level 10, it would give 38 damage by the time you hit level 20. And if you take it as a default perk, it would give 91 damage to your total stats. That's the equivalent of over 6 demon pack skills. This should make it very clear that skills that add damage are critical to take in the early game but they also get less valuable the higher level you are. I'll provide a link to a skill perk calculator in the description so that you can see the effect of picking a skill at a given level. Now that we understand this fact, let's start looking at the skill perks and make our list. Please note that this list is for levels 1 through 10. We will have a slightly adjusted list for levels 11 to 15 and 16 to 20. The reasoning for this will become clear as we go. So let's get started. Demon Pact adds 15 damage, but at the cost of 50 HP. Because of the 10% damage increase per level, Demon Pact scales very well if you pick it early, adding up to 91 damage at level 20 as we mentioned earlier. The downside is that the 50 HP reduction is also compounded by the 10% change per level, reducing your total HP by 300 at level 20. That said, there are only a few cases where you may want to skip Demon Pact, such as if it will affect your ability to survive. You do not want to waste time on the healing pad, or worse, waiting for your resurrection time. XP is extremely useful early game as it increases the XP from kills and stars by 25% per stack. It should be obvious that XP is more beneficial early game as it will apply to all of your kills for the rest of the game, but that does not make it worthless at later levels. For example, if you are level 15, getting XP may help you get 1 or 2 more levels, which if you remember is worth 10% damage in HP per level. If you received no extra buffs the entire game, getting level 17 instead of 15 would still be worth 21 damage and 207 HP, and that ignores the 2 extra skill perks that you would also receive. It should also be obvious that XP is useless on the boss and at level 20 when you no longer gain XP. Multi-shot increases the number of projectiles by 1. This is a great skill as it effectively increases damage by 100% of your base damage each stack. But the more stacks of multi-shot you have, the less value it gives. If you have just one stack of multi-shot, it provides 100% extra damage. If you have two stacks, it provides 50% extra damage. And three stacks will only provide 33% extra damage. This keeps going. If you have 19 stacks, which would be insane, Getting multi-shot would only give you 5% extra damage. By comparison, if you have 19 stacks and chose Demon Pact instead, it would give you 1750% extra damage. So it is a fantastic skill, but it does have diminishing returns. While damage only gives 5 damage compared to Demon Pact's 15, it is still important because of the 10% gain each level. Demon Pact gives more bang for your buck, but that doesn't mean damage is useless. Also, some hunters don't get Demon Pact at all, making this their primary damage increasing skill. The benefit of HP and damage combined is that it is worth more points than either of them on their own. HP on its own provides 50 HP and damage provides 5 damage, but combined they provide 30 HP and 3 damage. Without boring you with the math, just understand that you get more bang for your buck with the skill, but if you don't need the HP, then damage alone is still better. Ricochet makes your projectiles bounce to one additional target. This is very useful for farming XP and leveling up faster. But you should limit yourself to one or two ricochets. This is because you will quickly kill all of the enemies in your range before additional bounces would be useful. More importantly, ricochet is useless on the boss. Attack speed is percentage based and does not scale with level. 
making it a great choice because it is just as useful at level 1 as it is at level 20, but should be prioritized for later levels when damage starts to be less valuable. In fact, if damage wasn't so important early in the game, attack speed would be a tier 1 skill. Distance is useful for faster leveling since you can hit more enemies without having to move. It can also prevent you from needing to heal as often as you can keep out of the enemy's attack range. It is useful on the boss to help avoid taking damage. Units like Mad Doctor that can throw over walls can also hit the boss from behind the pillars with two stacks of distance. Damage reduction reduces incoming damage by 5. This is a flat number and does not scale, therefore it should be safe for later levels. The math for this is fairly complex, but the simple version is this. If it's early game, take HP. Late in the game, take damage reduction. Damage reduction also has higher priority on levels that do not support any healing. Regen heals 2% of your max HP every 2 seconds. Regen is useful for faster leveling by not needing to return to the heal pad as often. It is also useful for mitigating the damage you take from the boss. This skill should not be selected on floors that do not support any healing at all. Level 6, 10, 16, and 20. Lifesteal does not scale with the hunter level. It is a percent of the enemy's HP. Lifesteal is useful for faster leveling by not needing to return to the heal pad as often, although one stack is usually all you need. This skill should not be selected on floors that do not support any healing at all. Because lifesteal only triggers on the killing blow, it is mostly useless on the boss. Celestial Pack scales very well if you pick it early because of the 10% per level, adding a massive 950 HP at level 20 if you choose it as a default perk. The downside of course is the negative damage, however even as a default perk it will only reduce your level 20 damage by 30. 950 HP versus 30 damage is a very appealing compromise. Movement speed is percent based and does not scale with level. It is useful for faster leveling since you can get to the next group of enemies faster. It is also useful for minimizing the damage you take from the boss, as well as the time you spend repositioning to continue attacking. Damage Reflect deals 150% of incoming damage to the attacker. This skill is useful for faster XP farming, but should not be prioritized over more universal buffs such as damage or attack speed. Damage Reflect also works on the boss, but will require the hunter to take damage to trigger, making it useful for hunters with high durability. Unfortunately, dodged attacks do not reflect damage. Damage Reduction will also reduce the amount of damage reflected. As we know, HP increases by 10% per level, so the earlier you take this skill, the more value it will have. However, most hunters will not need extra HP outside of what they get from natural level progression. One reason you might want to take it is if you pick Demon Pack too many times and are super low on health. Dodge Chance is percent based and does not scale with level. Dodge Chance is useful for faster leveling by not needing to return to the heal pad as often. It is also useful for minimizing the damage you take on the boss. Dodge Chance should have a higher priority on stages that do not allow healing. While some hunters may benefit from Death Strike for faster leveling, it does nothing to the boss and should not be prioritized over other skills that are more useful overall. All attacks have some pushback by default. This skill increases that amount. It is of little use to most hunters. One of the few exceptions would be Sniper, where keeping the enemy at a distance is beneficial. This is a very low priority skill. It also does nothing to the boss. Dizzy Chance is of little use to most hunters. This is a very low priority skill. It also does nothing to the boss. As we progress to levels 10 to 15, any damage or HP skills go down in priority. Remember, they now give up to 400% less value than they did at early levels. Attack speed moves up significantly. It is arguably the best skill now. Utility skills such as movement speed or regen also move up. Any skill that you only need one or two of, such as lifesteal, moves down assuming you already received your minimum. At levels 16 to 20, any damage or HP skills go down even further. Attack speed is now the best skill you can get. XP is still not useless, but we're running out of room for its value. At this level, you should be focusing on any utility or defensive skills that you missed earlier. Things like regen, distance, dodge, or movement speed.
And that's our list. Hopefully you understand why we needed to break it up into three groups. Of course, there are always situations we can't account for in a general list like this. For example, if you only have a few seconds before you need to attack the boss, XP would be a waste. But hopefully you now have a good understanding of the core concepts so that you can deviate when you need to. In a future video, we'll go over hunter specific skills and see how they affect the list. We'll also go over a list of the hunters that are best for dungeons and some recommended floors to bring them on. Do you agree with my list? Let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe to be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching, and now enjoy the rest of our level 10 dungeon run.